whatever your level and whether you're learning Brazilian or European Portuguese. Keep watching to find out about my essential tools. A lot of these are free and who doesn't love free? I've searched far and wide to find a variety of quality, fun, free and paid resources to boost your Portuguese. All the resources mentioned here and a lot more are linked in the Fluent in Three Months articles in the video description. First up are some websites you should bookmark immediately. Forvo.com is your one-stop shop for finding out how any Portuguese word is pronounced. Just type the word you're looking for into the search bar, select the language and accent that you want to hear, and you're sorted. Another essential site is wordreference.com. It's a dictionary with a difference because all words include a discussion thread where people explore the more subtle meanings and the idiomatic uses. Ribeiring is also very useful as it's a monolingual dictionary but uses both a European and a Brazilian search option. It's never too early to start talking with native Portuguese speakers. When I say you should speak from day one, I mean that literally. And italki is where I suggest you go to find Portuguese speakers to chat with. You can find language exchange partners, community tutors, and professional teachers. The professional lessons do cost money, but the prices are very reasonable. And finding a conversation exchange partner is free. You can search for Portuguese speakers by their home country. So search for people from Portugal or Brazil, depending on which dialect you'd like to practice. Whichever dialect you're studying, don't be afraid to try out others. It's always interesting to experiment with different accents. The website Learn Portuguese with Rafa is full of detailed information on nearly every feature of European Portuguese grammar, including verb moods, conjugations, general everyday phrases and even swear words. The site is focused on European Portuguese for beginners, but also explains some key differences between European and Brazilian Portuguese. Watching kids TV shows is a fantastic way to get exposure to natural spoken Portuguese, which is important even for absolute beginners. RTP is Portugal's public broadcasting network and ZigZag is its section devoted to kids videos. Most are educational, covering topics like geography, history, and general fun facts. What's great is that each video is short enough to watch in a few minutes during a coffee break, and there's a lot of content on their YouTube channel. A paid service that I highly recommend for improving your pronunciation is Mimic Method. This accent training course with Idaus Ness is designed to help you sound more like a native Portuguese speaker in both dialects. I recommend innovative languages courses to all language learners, and Portuguese Pod 101 is one of the best places to start your Portuguese journey. It has lessons for absolute beginners right through to advanced learners. You can access many of the lessons with a free account, but you do need a paid membership to access every lesson. Each of the episodes comes with a PDF summary of the dialogue for you to follow along with while you listen. And there's a second PDF with complete lesson notes available to premium members. The podcast Brazilian Pod Class takes an in-depth look at all the major grammar points and tons of Portuguese vocabulary. It's not one of those repeat after me learning methods. Instead, it shows you how to use what you learn in each lesson to make new phrases in Portuguese. It will definitely add structure to your study. My next recommendation for beginner Brazilian Portuguese learners is Semantica. This is a video course formatted like a TV show and each episode contains one scene of a story. It's a great format because you'll keep going back to find out what happens next in the story. And so you'll keep learning. Now I have some recommendations for intermediate learners. These engaging materials are a fun way to take your Portuguese skills beyond the basics. When you're listening to spoken Portuguese with these resources, don't be discouraged if you don't understand everything you hear. The more you listen, the better you'll get at picking out the words you know, and you get pretty good at catching the gist of the story without knowing every single word. Practice Portuguese is geared towards people who have an intermediate level of reading comprehension, but still have trouble with listening comprehension. The speaker's voice is slow and clear, which is perfect for listeners who are still getting used to spoken European Portuguese. It's also a great place to start if you've been studying Brazilian Portuguese and want an introduction to the European dialect. Next up is a captivating free podcast on a topic that many language learners love, world travel. In each episode of Portugueses no Mundo, the host interviews a Portuguese person who's living in another country. You can hear their stories about what it's like to move away from Portugal 
and start a new life overseas from Japan to Oman to Angola and beyond. This podcast is useful for Portuguese learners because each episode follows the same structure. The host asks the same questions to each guest, but the responses are very diverse, making the podcast a fascinating listen. The website Camões Instituto da Cooperação e da Língua Portugal is funded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Portugal. It's an incredible treasure trove of material for learning all facets of the language. Under Ale, the reading section, there's a variety of books, including storybooks with accompanying audio, mini biographies with accompanying quizzes, and a reference guide for everyday situations. Check out A Falar for videos about speaking Portuguese, A Ouvir for a range of audio exercises, and A Brincar for some games. The site is entirely in Portuguese, but some sections contain translations into English and French. Some of the links may seem broken, but don't worry, the pages are still there. Do a Google search for the section you're looking for, and it should be the first hit. NHK World Radio Japão offers fantastic opportunities for listening practice. When you're still ramping up your Portuguese listening comprehension, it's a good idea to listen to native speakers who are talking clearly at full speed. News programs are really useful for this, and NHK World News broadcasts a daily news program from Tokyo in dozens of languages, including Brazilian Portuguese. You can get your morning news digest from this program. Then go online and read the news in your native language to check how well you understood the story. Now, having made all of these recommendations, if I have to suggest one resource above all others, I pick Portuguese Pod 101. As I said, it has lessons for beginners through advanced learners. So if you're serious about learning Portuguese, check this one out. All the links, are in the video description. And of course, there are plenty of Portuguese language learning videos on our channel. So like this video and subscribe and make sure you don't miss out. Muito obrigado, boa sorte e até a próxima.